Hi everyone, this is a video to show you how to use the present feature on Google Meet so that you can share your screen or share a website with your students while you're doing teletherapy. So I'm gonna start out here having my Google Meet already scheduled and set up. So if you don't know how to do that, then get back on the district website and there are other how-tos for doing that. So right now I'm gonna start by joining my meeting Fortunately, my student is already here and ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this on grid view. I have all the boxes checked so that when I go to grid view, I'm seeing myself and my student. I think that this is easiest because I'm picturing if I'm presenting anything like a book or showing an object, I wanna be able to see how it's coming across on the screen from my student's view. So with that, I want to be able to see the website that I have, the activity that I planned, and also be able to see my student and myself while we do that. So I will pull out this tab, the Google Meet tab, and minimize it so that I can keep these videos on the side of my screen. Then I'll go to my activity and I'll shrink that one too so that I can now have it outlined so that I have my activity and I'm seeing myself and my student. So I picked this book to do an example of an activity. You can do any website or anything on your computer. It could be a PDF. It could be um, this a website. Epic is has free subscriptions for educators and lots of nice books. You could pull up a YouTube video, um, anything you want. So you can get set up to this point before you log on with your student. I um, am just doing it this way, showing you how I'm pulling the tabs apart. Um, as part of the video so you can see how I did it. So now this is what you're going to see on your end as the therapist. You'll have your activity, your student, and yourself. Then you're gonna be ready to present your screen. So the easiest way that I found is to do, share a window rather than share your entire screen. Sharing a window will make it um, look nicer on your students and if you share your entire screen and you still want to have the videos of yourself and your student It's going to give them double videos So just say share a window and it will give you options of all the windows you have open I'm going to select the activity. I want them to see and it will share it with them So all they're going to be seeing um, is not my entire computer, but they're gonna be seeing the book. So I can click through, read it, and I can see how they're responding to it. So to give you an idea of the student's screen, I just did a screen grab of the other computer I have open here. So this is what the student will be seeing. They will see only your one um, website that you selected, but then they also have the little video of themselves, and they have a video of you here on the side. Um, so that they can follow along with therapy.